Hey everyone, it's Ryzen, and uh, welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3 FES. And uh, just as a quick heads up, I may be missing another upload this week, uh, just because I still have stuff to do for work uh, after, well, work one day, so. But, you know, we'll see what happens, I guess. Uh, anyway, let's uh, head on in. Yep, let's get going. Now, what I'm going to be doing in the future is I'm going to put a, uh, a bestiary in the uh, video description for the enemies you can encounter in each section of Tartarus as appropriate. But uh, I'm not going to do that here because there's only one enemy type. So, this is it, huh? I hope I don't get lost. Can you all hear well, me? Yeah. Whoa. Is that you, Senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Wait, you, you mean you can see inside well, that's here? That's certainly helpful. It's my persona's ability. I'd like to join you, but the structure of Tartarus changes from day to day. How that's convenient to make it a uh, random. <laughs> well, that makes me feel a whole Yeah, the uh the chests are random too. Now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any minute. They shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. Practice makes perfect. Right. All right. Let's keep going. Got it. Come on. Why is she always like, like what? That? To the point. Okay. Now, I'm going to skip the tutorials, but I'll go over things as we go here. Oh, yeah. Since we're going to be fighting, let's quickly go over the stats. Because they're not quite apparent. Uh, strength affects uh, your damage from physical skills, like bash, and uh, your physical attack with your weapon. Magic is for magic-based attacks, like Agi, which is fire-based, or Bufu, which would be ice-based, etc. Endurance is both physical and magic defense. Agility is your hit rate and your your accurate, well, your hit rate and your evasion. And luck affects your ability to get a critical hit. Uh, pay no attention to stats, though, because the, the way the damage formula works, the game only cares about your character's level. Not the persona level, just the character level. So yeah, we want to uh, we have to use the X button to uh, attack the enemy before we get up to him. If you can get him from behind, you can get a preemptive strike. Now, anyway, as for level, uh, if you your if your character or the character doing the attacking like is a higher level than the shadow, battle? you get a damage boost, but also a damage reduction when the enemy hits you. But if your level is lower than the shadow, then you do uh, less damage to that shadow while the shadow does more damage to you, which is stupid. <laughs> and it essentially overrides the stats to the point where stats mean almost nothing. There's also a weapon attack. Uh, well, I'll go for that. But this guy here is the uh, Cowardly Maya. You hit L1, and then you, you can select the target to analyze, hit X, and you can analyze him. And uh, that'll change the AI of your characters, just like using Libra does in uh, Final Fantasy XIII. But yeah, you can change tactics. Uh, they're basically paradigms from Final Fantasy XIII, or like the tactic system in Dragon Quest IV. Same thing. Uh, unfortunately, we do not start with very many of them. And yeah, uh, also the AI does some weird things on them that I'll probably go over as the game goes on. But anyway, these guys are weak to fire. So the interesting thing about hitting an enemy's weakness is you will knock them down. And in addition, you will also get another turn. If you knock every enemy down, you will be able to do an all-out attack. Let's do that. That typically will wipe out all the enemies or do significant damage to them. It hits all enemies. It's almighty damage, by the way. Uh, these guys will always drop that. But yeah, if you look at your equipment, 
We have a, a weapon here, armor, defense, and uh, evasion here. I believe your weapon only impacts your physical attack with your normal weapon. I don't think it actually impacts your uh, physical skills. It does impact your all-out attack, though. I know that. It increases damage from that. You have more attack power with it, which is nice. But again, it's overridden by the level formula. Uh, armor, the defense that I believe only impacts physical defense. I don't think it impacts magic defense. But either way, it's negligible thanks to the level formula or the damage formula using the level of your character as the primary factor. And uh, boots increase your evasion, which doesn't really do much, to be honest. And uh, you have accessories that do different things. Most accessories aren't very useful in the game, but there are a few that are good. So yeah, the staircase will allow you to go up higher, but we can't do that now, but it's randomly placed on each floor. Uh, I've heard of a, that there's actually a bug in the game where a staircase just won't spawn, but I've never had that happen to me. Maybe that's just in the original uh, Persona 3? Yeah, if you don't attack an enemy and it touched you, uh, you get ambushed most of the time. Uh, on hard mode, if you if an enemy sees you and you still strike it before it touches you, uh, you might get ambushed anyway because the game hates you. And what I just did there is I went to the menu and then I exited the menu and that forced the enemy to reload its position. Uh, it's random what position it will face after that, and it's a bug, but a good time for me to oh well. About attack properties, it's which useful. Are to consider during battle. Do you want no, I already one? went over uh, the knockdown system. The enemies you're facing have a weakness that you can exploit. Let's take a look at the you other commands we have in the command window. Uh, persona, which we can't use, will allow you to switch personas, but you can only switch one persona per turn, so you can only ever use a maximum of two personas in a single round. Escape will let you run away. Doesn't always work, but uh, if you preempt a strike an enemy, it will work guaranteed at any point in the, the battle. Uh, unfortunately, it does not work in boss battles, obviously. Um, there's one other thing I want to do. Oh yeah, that triangle button where it says rush. If I hit that, it'll force your characters to just do their physical attack on, uh, on the first target. So that would be this guy, and then once he's dead, they would move on to this guy. That's the only way to basically order your allies to directly do something. But, oh well. If you get on here and select support, you can analyze or request help. Uh, request help would be if you split up your party, or for some reason your party wasn't completely present in battle. You could uh, request them to come from a distance and they would show up later on in battle. But yeah, let's uh, hit them with Augie. And you'll see the one more will come up. Because I hit his weakness. Uh, that will also happen if I get a critical hit with a physical attack. Now, if I were to use Maragi and I didn't hit them all, I missed one of them, I would not get a one uh, one more. Uh, Maragi is the all version of the level one fire spell. Uh, that was changed in Persona 3 Portable, where just hitting one enemy's weakness with a Ma level spell or an all targeting spell will give you one more. Uh, same thing in Persona 4. But that doesn't work here or in the original Persona 3, unfortunately. But all hitting versions are totally worth it. They have a slightly smaller accuracy percentage, but it's negligible. Okay. Oh! I also just saw American Sniper the other day. <laughs> um, very good movie, I'd recommend it actually. Saw it with my uh, fiance and uh, her family, so. Yeah, it was, it was good. Highly recommend it. Were you able to exploit the enemy yes, weakness I was. in the last battle? If you didn't already notice, doing so will also I figured that out already, attack. Mitsuru. Thank you. Would you like No, I already went over all of this. Then proceed with the battle. 
Use what you've learned to quickly dispose of the enemy. Let's go over the analyze system, actually. So, also, if you hit the square button, you can skip your turn. That's really only useful if you want to wait for an analysis to occur for an enemy you might otherwise kill. So yeah, um, right now all we can see is is uh, the level of the enemy, their HP, SP. Uh, SP is essentially the game's MP. Uh, what arcana they are, which really only matters for certain weapons, and I recommend just not paying attention to it at all. The name of the enemy and its weakness or resistances. Uh, from left to right, they are Slash, Strike, Pierce, which are the three physical elements. Then Fire, Ice, Lightning, and Wind, those are the three, the four magical elements. And then Light and Dark, which are instant death spells. And yes, you can be weak or strong against them. Unfortunately, being weak to them does not guarantee them hitting. And I'm not a big fan of instant death in the game until very late into the game. Finish it Essentially, oh, yep, yeah, see, he criticaled me, so he's actually gonna get another turn. And because of that, I get up on the next turn, but I can't do anything. Healing is not impacted by the level, the damage formula, by the way. And neither do our buffs or instant death or anything like that. So yeah, let's, uh, let's kill these guys now. Another thing is, uh, once you've actually scanned an enemy, you can just bring up the uh, the data at any point. So, assuming assuming it's uh, your turn, you cannot analyze an enemy during somebody else's turn. Which is stupid. If you see that little thing show up, it means that you're knocking the enemy down, either due to a critical hit or hitting a weakness. Unless it's the first time uh, one of your party members has summoned it. So that's the only other time you'll see that show up. You have the potential to without knocking the strong. enemy down. Now this is shuffle time. Now, uh, what this is, is you have different cards here. They're going to shuffle around and we have to follow the one we want and pick it. Uh, from left to right we have a persona, a healing one, a weapon one, and uh, that will give you a weapon. The healing one will heal you obviously, by a little bit. And the last one on the right there is uh, a money icon for giving you yen. Enemies do not drop yen in the game. You can only get them from chests, selling things, or from shuffle time. I want the persona. Which is Pixie. Not so much because Pixie's good, but... Really, we have to take what personas we can get at this point. Early on, shuffle time's pretty easy. Later on, not so easy. Oh, uh, they'll do things like go off screen to uh, fool you, but when it goes off screen, it comes back down in the order that they went off. And sometimes they'll sh like shuffle into one card, but they always come back out in the same order. So once you realize the tricks, pretty simple. Yes, my in Persona 4 and Persona 3 Portable, they start doing other versions of Shuffle Time where it'll kind of spin around in a ring and you gotta time it when you want it. But that's not uh, that's not in this version or the original Persona 3. So yeah, we have two choices here. We can either go to our skill menu and because we have Pixie now, we can use Dia, which could heal us. Now, just tell you right now, Minato should never, ever, ever, ever be healing in battle. If he is healing in battle, you are doing something wrong, because you're either underleveled, or you have a poor party makeup or something. Because Minato is far and away the best damage dealer, because since he's always in the party, he has the highest level. We could either use Dia manually, or we could have uh, Yukari cast uh, Dia on all of us. Uh, Dia is the game's level 1 healing spell. And that'll fully heal us, and... You see, I mistimed the uh, attack there, and normally that would be ambushed, but... There is a better way to defeat all of your but, uh, because this is a tutorial, you can't be ambushed or preemptive strike you can perform here. An all -out attack. Would you care to hear more about this? 
Uh, no thanks, Mitsuru. That, that concludes the basics of battle. But there's one last thing I need to tell you. Shadows become stronger the further you advance. If you don't think you can win a battle... Yes, I know how to run away, Mitsuru. There may be times, however, when an escape will be... More a times than not, running away uh, works. <laughs> Good luck. Even if you don't preemptive the enemy. But yeah, let's, uh, let's kill all these guys. Attack again! Nice! Now, for Tartarus trips, uh, I'm going to show you the first trip, and uh, up to the boss, and then anytime I go back for whatever reason, I'll just edit that out, and obviously I'll edit out repeat battles. But anyway, uh, healing with the main character, or buffing with the main character, or doing anything other than damage is a bad idea. Yes, the AI does screwy things. Oh, you can't have more than one of the same persona, by the way, so I'm just gonna get the weapon icon. At least I can sell it. But it, it's just it's just inefficient. Uh, it's not an effective way to play the game. You should be using your healers to heal you. Yes, my skill level has increased. <laughs> and your other, your other characters should be supporting you. Not the other way around. There are a couple of instances where I will do it the other way around, but that's just because I didn't really find a way to... really effectively handle those couple of battles. Early on, our options are pretty limited, too. So yeah, you can, uh, split up. You can also tell them whether you want to defeat shadows or avoid shadows, but just because you set them to avoid shadows doesn't mean they won't get into a battle. But they won't actively seek it out, either. So she found the access point, but... I don't want to do that yet, because Junpei's going to find a chest there. Yeah. Okay, this floor is always more. the same in this tutorial section. This looks cool. You never really want to split up your party normally, because you get, the sa you get the same amount of experience either way. Experience is dependent upon the level of the enemy you're fighting, and it's not divided or anything like that. And each character in Persona gets a different amount of experience depending on their level versus the Shadow's level. Welcome back. So, how was it? Yeah, kind of tired. It yeah, yeah, you will once. get tired Don't worry. You'll get in Tartarus if you stay too long as well. Wow, I never knew I had that kind of power. We kicked some ass. But damn, I'm beat. Unfortunately, your party members will like also leave uh, when they're tired and you return to the lobby. Yeah, you look pretty tired but yourself, you do get fully healed John. if you return to the lobby. I'm still trying that to does not work breath, in the portable actually. version where you have to pay that the save point to but heal yourself in your party. Hour, you'll become fatigued but it's easily. negligible amount of yen. Don't worry though, you'll adapt. But I'm surprised. What Mitsuru you means there is as you get higher it. levels, it'll take uh, longer for you to get tired. And that's only your character level, by the way, not your persona level. <laughs> we'll see about that. And then I'll level up our, uh, our C's social link. So now we would get one full additional level for any full persona we use. Full personas aren't too useful though. I'll go over fusing later, but well hey, I'm still here, so I guess I can save. Sweet, I didn't realize that. And this is pretty much the end of the introduction, so 
After this, I'm probably going to resume doing 50 minute episodes. I'm probably just going to have to re relegate myself to probably going to have to do half hour recording sessions and just divide it up into two episodes. Unfortunately, um, just due to the nature of the game. If you want me to denote uh, whether one is mostly Tartarus or mostly social links or outside Tartarus stuff, you know, let me know and I can certainly put that in the description. But uh, I do plan on putting, you know, the beast area in there. Also recommended personas. Uh, and I'll try and show you how I acquire each persona in the description as well. But uh, I'm not really sure if you get an unlimited amount of space in the description. I hope so. Because I do want a lot of stuff that I want to put in there. But anyway, I'm going to end it here. Uh, this is Ryzen. Thanks for watching. And next time we'll uh, go back to being a high school student, I guess, for, for a day. And then we'll be back in Tartarus. Take care, everyone.